Traders, I'm not going to force another trade today. I'm done for the day. I started my day with uh, two losers in uh, plug and in BA. It's not because I did not read uh, the direction right. As you can see here, uh, BA is coming down. Plug did uh, kind of the same thing. So um, it's just because the timing was wrong. And uh, timing is uh, it, trading is all about timing. You know, you 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 make the right decisions, but uh, if your timing is wrong, then you're losing money. Uh, the only trade, which is my third trade, uh, which was the right timing too, uh, was was the only one with the right timing, is Tesla. So Tesla saved my day, as you can see here, moved me to back uh, back to green territory, and I'm still riding it, uh, like six points or seven points or something like that now. So I'm still riding Tesla, um, but I do want to talk about uh, the S&P 500. We mentioned this uh, several times, but it's uh, it happened to be so clear today that I really want to uh, have another discussion about that. So take a look at uh, the S&P 500 where we started. We started down, I believe that was 0.6% if I'm not mistaken. So the S&P started down. As always, when you start with the gap down, there's a very high likelihood that the S&P would move up to the point where it closes the gap. So as, as you can see, these, these are one minute candles here. We moved up and in like one, two, three, four, five, six, six minutes or seven minutes or so, we closed the gap. So that was a very big upside move. And as always, when we close the gap, you shouldn't expect the market to continue with the trend. You know, whenever I look at the S&P starting and moving up that much, I always consider that uh, it's likely, or any stock, if I watch it moving that much, whenever it comes a pullback, I would consider it uh, to, con to continue moving with a trend because this big upside move here uh, could be considered as a very strong upside trend, which just didn't happen. The reason it did happen was to come up and close the gap. So when... When the trend is there and established only in one purpose, to close the gap, don't trust it to continue. Same happened to the, to the Nasdaq today. So as you can see, both of them just moved up, closed the gap, right at the point where the gap was closed, Nasdaq came down too. Now that doesn't always have to happen, but you know, when you have a trend, you should trust it. You should give it at least 60 or 70% chance to continue. But when the trend is there only to close the gap, don't trust it that much. It's likely to reverse and um, the chance for reversal is greater than continuation. And uh, that's what happened today. And that's what you should have considered once you saw the market moving up and closing the gap. Now, I wanted to say that uh, the only trade I had, which uh, happened, uh, I mean, the, in the right timing was Tesla. It was my third trade because that Tesla trade happened once the market already closed the, the, the gap and started coming down. So when the market started coming down, I could have trusted it to continue coming down. And that's what really helped my Tesla trade. And I don't know what's coming next. I would not be surprised if Tesla would move over the highs today or whatever going to happen. I don't know what's coming next with the market too. But the market did behave as many times happens when it's closing the gap. And Tesla reacted to that. That's why that was my only green trade today. And again, it's all about timing. It's all about expecting market direction. Always watch the S&P 500. Uh, the S&P 500 is the main tool of the institutional traders. That's the one they're following at all times. And uh, if you will find institutional traders trading Tesla today, uh, they will uh, sell. They don't go short, but they could sell Tesla. And uh, the ones who are buying Tesla would wait until the S&P start moving up. I mean, possibly now. So anyway, always watch the S&P 500. Always know what to expect. And don't trust the trend when the trend is only there to come up and uh, close the gap. So glad I'm going to finish this gray in, day in green. I'm not going to force another trade. I'm just happy to stay in green. I have the feeling like if I'm going to force another trade now, uh, I could easily <laughs> go wrong and uh, get back to it. I just don't want to be there. So thank you very much. I'll finish uh, early today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye traders.